Okay, so this morning I did the comparison test uh, with the old GoPro 3 and the new GoPro 7 Hero Black. And the looks that I got riding down the road, I've got to show you my setup. Look at this. A camera on either side. I mean, having one is, you know, it sticks out enough, but two? Crazy. All right, but it was worth it. So on the left hand side, I had the Hero 7. On the right hand side, I had the uh, old GoPro. So basically, and I've got to tell you, I woke up this morning with just the worst sore throat. It feels like I've eaten a T-bone steak and I haven't bothered to chew it and I've swallowed it and it's just sitting there. It's gross. But anyway, I shall carry on regardless. So yeah, I chose a nice route with a variety of um, kind of, you know, one was a little bit rough, had speed bumps, the other one was fast and straight. And the last stretch of it was kind of round and round about. It's quite smooth curves, lots of traffic, lots of traffic, lots of um, horizon in the distance. And the difference between the GoPro 7 with the Hypersmooth and the old GoPro, uh, they're just worlds apart. So I'm going to show you the footage now and you can make up the mind for yourself. It's pretty impressive. Let's have a look.
how much better is the new GoPro 7 compared to that the old 3? I mean that hyper smooth is just unbelievable. Now it's pretty obvious which one is which when, I, when you see that clip. Um, but if you look at the horizon on the GoPro 3, it's just going all over the place. Whereas the GoPro 7 is just liquid smooth all the way through. And the new GoPro is a lot lighter. Its exposure is a lot brighter. It's a lot sharper. The edges are more defined. It's just a nice, crisp, bright, smooth image. So what I've done here is I've actually recorded both um, cameras, but I've stacked them on top of each other just so you can get a comparison running at exactly the same time. The GoPro 3 is on the top, the GoPro 7 is on the bottom, just to give you an even clearer idea of uh, how good it is. Okay, have a look at this. unbelievable that is so good now I just want to clarify this video is for people that who have the either first second or third generation gopros like i did not so much i mean i have i've never used a four five or six and i know they have stabilization built in but the seven is the first one with the hyper smooth built in so if you want to look at that and compare it with your four five or six then by all means do but this is more for the guys that have the one two or three generation uh, GoPro and it's just it's so far ahead of the free it's just it's not even it's it's well worth the money I thought 380 was pushing it but to see how far they've come along in terms of the image quality it is absolutely worth it okay so now I told you I was going to do a picture comparison as well using the photo setting so I'm going to do that now, compare them side to side, just to clarify again, these settings are out of the box. I haven't touched a single thing in terms of the preferences or the settings, completely out of the box, no fiddling around with it. All right, let's go and have a look at this one. All right, so let's go ahead and open up these two images. I took off the bike earlier. What I wanted to do is get a nice comparison between uh, highlight details and shadow details just to really test the camera out. So this one up here, I'm just going to put a little, just to make it a little bit clearer. That is the 3, this is the 7. 
Okay, now the first thing you will notice between the 3 and the 7 is the 3 is a lot darker, it's a lot muggier. Let's just blow it up a little bit and compare it side to side with the 7. Now let's just bring these over. Now you can see the 7 is a lot crisper, the colours are more saturated yet not over the top they're a lot more faithful to how this area actually looks and up on this wall here um, that is a pretty accurate um, take on what that color is whereas on the free it just looks washed out and gray now if we blow up the free just to see look how unfocused that is how soft it is if you look at that window with this grate and then compare it with the three, uh, with the seven, sorry, look at the difference between, look at how much detail you get. You can actually see the lines in the glass going across, whereas in the three, you can just about make it out. I mean, look at the difference there. The colour, the sharpness. So really, the seven as far as taking pictures is concerned, and I don't really use it a lot for pictures, it is so much better. Lovely, bright, crisp, sharp images. Right, so that's pretty conclusive, I think. It's better all round. Hyper smooth, spot on, amazing. Pictures, lovely and bright and crisp, so much more detail. So, if you're in the market for a new GoPro, and you have the one, two or three uh, generation GoPros, I would definitely get the seven. It is incredible. I mean, it's pricey, 380, but it is worth it for what it does. And the, 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 the leap in technology is um, very impressive. Okay. All right, it's brilliant. I've got to show you something quick. Now, you know, a, a few videos ago, uh, I showed you my knife collection. Well, I ordered another one the other day. I saw it and I thought I have to have it. I've been looking around for this certain type of knife for a long time. Let me show you this. Okay. Again, it's big. But it is beautiful. As most big things are. This is actually a British knife. Now, it's made by a company called J. Noel and Sons in Sheffield. Sheffield, if you're not aware, is was effectively built on its steel industry. It is world famous for its high quality steel. Look at this beauty. Polished carbon steel. It has a brass guard, solid brass guard, a solid brass pommel at the back there. And the handle is made out of staghorn and it is riveted with brass rivets. This is a very handsome, very capable knife. And for £280 it should be. There you go. You gotta pay for your passions, right? Beautiful knife. There's the um I don't know if you can see that the uh maker's mark on the blade there stamped in just a beautiful polished knife and it is very sharp out of the box very sharp one thing I've noticed about these bigger knives that I've got in the past is they tend to be a little bit dull and the smaller ones are just extremely sharp this one you could probably shave with it if you if you was that way inclined um, but yeah it's an absolute handsome piece will I ever use it probably not will it go to just a little collection piece, more than likely. Um, this is a sort of thing you hand down to your grandchildren and their grandchildren. It will outlast all of their lives. What a beautiful thing that is. I hope you appreciate it as well. Okay guys, that is it, we're done. I hope you enjoyed that video. I will see you all again very soon. Take it easy, adios, bye.